go over the um, let's go over uh, what we uh, want to do here this morning. I want to go over a quick video. All right, so let's take a look at the uh, let's take a look at the zone trading. So <clears throat> this is the the updated zone trader that you're going to get. Uh, you're going to get the strategy and also the indicator. Um, the workspaces are already set up for you already. What you have in your hands now. Uh, what this is is called the I call it uh, I call it the J zone. We'll call it the Sim zone actually. But um, the whole the whole reasoning and the whole um, the the methodology behind the whole system is is we're trying to catch the wrongly positioned um, traders where the counter trend traders. So what we're trying to do is we're trying to see when these counter trend traders are coming in or when these algorithms are countering the market, and we're trying to basically go and find these volume spikes or these speed bars, what's called speed bars, into ATR support or resistance and try to look for reversals. Now, the easy way to find these setups are looking for opposite color speed bars. So here's updated, this is since 6.30 this morning. It's a 5 sim Renko, four days back. This is on my J sim or J zone right here, J zone. I'll go over this indicator tonight on the conference call. We'll go over that tonight at um, 4.45. We'll have a conference call on this and go in detail. But what we want to try to do is we want to try to find when there's high probability reversals on any given market that we trade. The best way to do it is find opposite color speed bars to look for trade setups. It gives you a big heads up. This is not where you have to be you know, looking every single second and trying to find a trade. These setups give you a big heads up because we have a zone we're trying to buy and sell and we're trying to find when we get a spike in movement, meaning do we have a lot of pressure to the upside and you see a lot of volume increasing when these green bars print or these red bars print, volume increases because you're getting a lot of uh, orders hitting the ask or the bid, or you're getting a lot of what's called momentum in the market. So what the program does is it finds this momentum for us and tries to find reversals to catch these wrongly positioned moves. So what you want to do then, if you have an ATR that is red, then simply we're going to look for a green speed box, what I call speed bars or speed box. This is what I developed. This is a proprietary program. It's not where you can find this anywhere else. I developed this program and created it to find critical levels where the market should reverse. All right, so what, we've, what we're doing then is we are looking for ATRs that start running where the markets are going vertical. Remember, the, mar the markets are very simple. They can only do two things. Either they chop or they go vertical. Do not make it any more difficult than that. So if we know markets go vertical, then when these ATRs start, start to print, we know we're in a possible move, a vertical move down in the market when they're red, a vertical move up in the market when they're green. So when they print, then we simply have to wait. We have another green one printing just now, live right here. We are simply going to wait. And then when the green one prints, you get a big heads up that we have a possible another trade setup coming up on the S&P this morning. This is the ES micros. <clears throat> Excuse me. So we have a possible trade. So every time this green box prints, it tells you you get a possible trade coming up. So this is a big heads up. This is a, what's called a leading indicator. This is a, what's called a tier one indicator. Tier one indicators are leading indicator. They're not lagging indicators like the MAC, moving average, covergence, divergence, or 
anything like that. It's not like moving averages where they're, uh, they're lagging. This is a leading indicator. This is a leading indicator. This leading here. So as now we're starting to print right here, live right now, we got a possible setup coming up. So what you want to do then is no matter what market you trade, this is universal in all markets. I don't care if you look at the Dow. I don't care if you look at the YMs, the, the Russell 2000, you look at the DAX. Whatever you look at, NASDAQ futures, whatever market you look at, it's the same methodology. We're looking for a trend with our, our ATR. And once the ATR starts to print, that's not good enough. The secret sauce, the secret sauce to this whole whole program are the speed bars coupled with the zone. So that's the secret sauce to it because without these speed bars, we wouldn't know when we're trying to catch the rolling position movement in the market, and we wouldn't know without the zone where's a high probability turning point. So you use a combination of both to find a high probability, high reward to risk trades. So what we do then, if it turns yellow to red, we know that we're in a downtrend. So this morning we're in a downtrend. So what the J zone does, which we'll which we'll rename the SIM zone, I guess Gerald will name it. What we what we'll do is is we'll 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 look at and we'll put the we'll put we'll wait to the green boxes form and what what I put in the program under the J zone which I'll go over this tonight in detail I don't want to make this video too long because I'm going to be going over this tonight I have a DS period we can put in below to give confirmation when you can enter the trade to have a small stop with a with a, a confirmation entry so if you look we just had an entry right here there's an entry and you see the arrows that will automatically fire off. So this arrow on the updated program, what you have in your hands now, you got to look at the DS below to get confirmation. But you'll have an arrow that fires off. And they'll fire at these key levels. So these levels will fire off at these key levels when we hit when we have speed speed bars so you can change that arrow by changing you can change that arrow by changing the ds period and the j zone so we can see this is the perfect setup that just came into the zone this would never hit the stop you're still short here and you're short here so the whole idea is is we're trying to see how it reacted once you get inside the zone. So what I have is I programmed if you tick by one tick inside the zone, I have a zone toggle switch right here. If you only want to see trades that have an ATR inside the zone, you click this toggle switch. If you want to take all trades, I have it unchecked. It's taking all trades with my speed boxes. So one, two, three, four, five trades so far this morning since 6.30 this morning are qualified trading according to my methodology, how I programmed this. So yesterday, I was marking them down. You probably saw me marking them down. We had over 40 shots at taking longs or shorts in the market on the five Simranko. 40 opportunities. Over 40 opportunities from 7.30 in the morning, and I stopped looking at it at around 3 o'clock in the afternoon or 3.30. Yet over 40 opportunities like this where you had ATR trend with speed boxes. And how you can qualify, this is a nice little trade, the fill on this trade, the live fill would be the low of this bar, would be 2350. The low of this is 15. That's eight and a half S&P points. I just showed you on this video live that just happened. This one right here, if you got the low of that bar and your stop did not get outside the ATR, which it did not, 
that's 20 and a half all the way down to 15. That's still five and a half S&P points. So that's how we're, that's how we want to set it up. We want to try to let this, uh, let these counter moves pull us in the market at key levels. And by doing that, we can use our speed boxes to let us know when to pull ourselves in the trade. We can let us know the zones to pull ourselves in the trade. Now we have three zones. This is my favorite zone right here. This is my favorite zone that I have programmed with the workspace already. And you guys have those workspaces. All that, all you that have Ninja Trader, you have my favorite zone, and I show it in the room. My favorite zone, right there. And I have it programmed in here already. It's 4538. 4538 is my favorite zone. Now, if you have a regular ATR that you have on your own Ninja, you're not going to match up with mine. There's a certain way I run my ATRs. My ATRs don't match up with any other ATRs. So if you try to run an ATR and it doesn't match up, don't think your ATR is pretty much wrong or anything. I just run them a little bit different. I have to qualify these ATRs to know if I got lower highs or higher lows in the market. A lot of ATRs don't do that. Um, I use a lot of filters to, to when these ATRs print. So there's sort of my secret sauce on the ATR also. But if you, as you can tell, you think that's just by luck how the S&P comes right up to my zone and you just saw it live on this video and it reverses. All right. The, listen, a lot of this is algorithmic trading and program trading. This is not the 1980s or the 1990s where the floor controls the price movement of these markets. Okay, everything is pretty much computerized and computer based. Everything is pretty much algorithmic, meaning everything is algos running these trade setups. So are, are running these trades, are running this, this this movement in the market. So what we can do with the advancements of technology and the computer age and all that stuff, we can tell the computer what to look for. I can tell the computer to go out and say, hey, show me where these big volume spikes are happening or show me where this big momentum's happening in the market, and then show me where the best zone is to trade. So from all my testing, all my back testing, and I had some outside help by some long-term traders, and I thank you, Tina, and some other traders, is that, you know, when you go back a couple years and you look at this and you say, hey, what's the best zone with the best ATR, with the best speed box, and all of a sudden, all this computer technology that we have, we start spitting out these little nice little levels. So this isn't just fly by the pants. Let's try to come up with an indicator like the MAC or the RSI and try to come up with the methodology. This is actually going back and saying, hey, well, let's find the, the sweetest spots that's worked over and over and thousands and thousands and thousands of times. Yesterday, over 40 trades like this. So, you know, you have to understand that a lot of it is algorithm trading. So once we know we have the zones already, or the high probability zones, we have three zones I like. This is my favorite zone. If you just wanted to trade this zone by itself and not even look at my two other zones, you don't even have to even look at my two other zones. I have a zone one, which is a shallow zone in hot markets, and then I got a deeper zone in uh, choppy markets, but this primarily, if you just want to trade one zone, you put this on your charts on any given market, and this is your zone. And like I said, I even got traders trading Bitcoin futures on this, and a Bitcoin futures works very, very, very well with this. So it doesn't matter, like I said, what market you trade. You can even trade stocks like this, Forex. Um, I'm even looking into trading, you know, different uh, uh, indexes, um, looking spiders, the diamonds, and so on. So there's a lot of ways you can use this software. The software is just not saying, hey, you have to trade the S&P 500 futures. I mean, this is, these zones and these, these, uh, these indicators work primarily for any, I mean, it's not just one market, it's, it's universal. All right, so tonight at, uh, at 4.45, I'll go over that. But listen, when you see this come up, when you see this come up, when you see these green boxes against ATR trend come up, that's when you're looking for a high probability trade. That's the only time that I'm actually paying attention to the market. 
Now, what I've did on the indicator, and I'm going to go over this tonight. I don't go over this. I'm going over the same thing tonight. But I put alarms, a long alert and short alert. So when these arrows fire, this this arrow fired, an alert's going to sound short. Alert's going to sound short here. Alert's going to sound here. Alert's going to sound here and here. So you don't have to be looking at these markets like crazy. I from all these years and years of trading, okay, I out of, right out of college, I was lucky enough to, you know, get involved in the markets right away. And I worked for one of the biggest firms out there right away out of college. So, you know, I was very lucky enough to be fortunate to do that. But, you know, I didn't learn a, uh, as much there as I learned a lot from, you know, two of the best minds, I think, on Wall Street. You know, that would be Larry Williams. He's a only guy that's ever turned ten thousand dollars into a million in futures, and then Tom Demark. I mean, those are pretty much are two traders that that I went to Vegas and saw seminar seminars. So I learned a lot from those guys. I learned you want to you want to buy and sell retracements with trend. I mean, if, if there's anything I learned from those two traders, and then obviously Peter Stoudemire. I got to throw him in there for market profile. I learned about volume spikes through Peter Stoudemire, and that's pretty much how I came up with these green bars and red bar volume spikes and volume movement because what we found, what Peter found, and Peter's the one that invented market profile in 1985, price profile, 1994, he invented uh, uh, volume profile. We use volume profile in the room. I love volume profile. But, you know, the one thing that uh, uh, Pete came up with, which I really love, is he noticed that there's big reversals on volume spikes. So I made it more visual now. and and you know, a Pete's way, you'd really have to look at the tape. You know, you have to look at the tape. And, and back when I was a small order execution trader in the 1990s, there's a big group of us buying big shares of stock, trading uh, 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 with Inca against Inca and so on, and, and trading on the island and all that stuff. And we would, we would literally trade order flow. And I had to look at time of sales back then. Well, you don't have to now with all the computers and everything. Everything's visual now. So I'm making it visual to find out what Pete came up with, pretty much what Tom DeMarc and Larry Williams, buying and selling retracements, you know, with overall trend direction. And I pretty much put it all into one tradable system. You know, that's and this is the J zone. So, you know, it's it's a nice little it's a nice little package that lets you find these possible levels as you've seen. Like I said, this one came up live, these two came up live. Just now, replay the video. You'll see how price action works, how it works live. And that was a nice, that one's still running. 23 and a quarter potential all the way down to 10. That's 13 points on the S&P. So when you see all these, there's thousands and thousands of indicators out there. You know, every indicator works once. But does every indicator work on a day-to-day -day basis over and over and over and over and over and over? No. Is every indicator a leading indicator? No. To me, 99.9% .9 of indicators are worthless. Why? Because they don't show order flow. So the key from my knowledge that I've learned from other professional traders and from my knowledge since the early 1990s about all that experience about doing this is I put it into a tradable system that actually can find sweet spots in the market. And like I said, these zones are high probability zones. You know, I have three zones that we look at. Like I said, I'll go over them tonight. I like this one right here in front of us. It's a very, very unique zone with my unique ATR, with my proprietary technique on getting in on these speed bars. But don't make this difficult. Let the algo do the work for you. Let it print these green bars against overall ATR trend. This is when you want to go to work. This is when we want to look for high probability trades, just like this 13 S&P point trade here potential. Okay, we don't want to go to work on these trade setups when we're down here on this choppy price action. That's for novice traders. Let those counter trend traders get stopped out. Let those novice traders that think they're smarter than the market get stopped out. Right? Let's be, let's have the edge in the market. This gives you the edge. This is edge trading. We're getting the edge because we're trading order flow. We're trading actually volume spikes. We're looking for reversals in areas of high support and resistance. That's the difference between trading knowledgeable in the market and not trading 
not having knowledge in the market about trading against the overall trend. So we'll go over this tonight, but that's the basis of it. Gerald recorded this video. Replay it. Watch how that live trade, how that moved up in there into the zone and reversed. You know, you know that's a good example of a 13-point S&P trade with a small stop potential because your stop, guys, is a hard stop outside of these speed boxes. So your hard stop is here. Don't risk more than your swing high, two ticks above the swing high. So when you're trying to find what stop you want, do not risk more than two ticks above the swing high. If it's not going to work out with my system, then let yourself get stopped out. Let it get stopped out. Two ticks above the swing. That's all you need for reversals after the arrow comes up. All right? That's all we need.